Bishop Lloyd G. Phipps, Sr. And I am Althea Phipps, your pastor's wife. We are recording this video on Thursday, March 11th, 2021, the first anniversary of the declaration of this pandemic. It has been one full year since you and I have been going through this pandemic, and we know that for many, it has been extremely difficult. But we want you to know that we love you. We miss hugging and loving on you. You're always in our thoughts and our priors. It has been 12 difficult months for many. Some of you I have not seen for one full year. I haven't had the opportunity to look you in the eyes and let you know just how much we love you and how much we appreciate you. Many have lost jobs. Some have seen their hours reduced. Some have lost loved ones to this pandemic. And many of our seniors have been confined to their home, unable to fellowship with their brethren and to see and love on their grandchildren. It has been a difficult 12 months. But despite the difficulty of the moment, God has proven himself faithful to us. He has blessed you. He has kept you. He has provided for you. He said in his word that I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus and he has proven himself to be faithful we want you to know that we are here for you should you need assistance please know that we are available maybe you need someone to cook a meal to mow the lawn pick up the groceries or your medication we are available just call us 404 286-6126. We love you very much. And you are constantly in our thoughts and in our daily prayer. We missed you. May God bless, bless you. you. place where everybody is somebody and Jesus Christ is Lord. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Covington Drive Church family and friends. We are so excited that you've decided to join us today. From whatever device you're streaming on, we're so happy that you've decided to join us. If you are watching, that means one thing. It means that the Lord has kept you. You are alive. And not just you, but you and your beautiful family. I concur with our pastor and Lady Phipps that yes, we miss you. We are counting the days, the hours, the second, the minutes, the months and the weeks when we can gather together again safely, where we can hug and kiss your necks and just worship together. God is indeed wonderful, awesome and amazing. Well, sitting here with me this morning is a handsome young man who happens to be the minister of music right here at Covington Drive Church. And uh, you know what they say, Brother TJ, when a minister of music and a worshiper comes together, only one thing can happen, a worship explosion. Oh, yes, indeed. And that's what we're expecting to happen in the next three weeks, y'all. April 4th. Resurrection Sunday. Oh my God, we are so excited. Something awesome is about to happen. 
and you know resurrection a matter of fact easter is considered the most significant time in a child of god's life it's the time where we commemorate the death and the resurrection of our lord and savior jesus christ it's usually a time brother tj where the church is packed to capacity uh, uh, the members are wearing their beautiful spring colors. The mothers are wearing their beautiful spring hats. But unfortunately, COVID-19 has altered that for us this year. Brother TJ, why don't you tell the saints what's going to happen? Well, this April 4th, Resurrection Sunday, the music ministry will be leading us in a time of unrestrained prayer, oh my praise, Lord. worship, and exaltation. Wow. About the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Oh my God, I can't wait. Right. The musicians have been rehearsing. I That's heard right. you all had a uh, musician rehearsal last night. We did. My husband came home and told me how powerful it was. And the rehearsal on Thursday was amazing. You don't want to miss this. You want to save the date. You want to share it. You want to get all your family members involved. You don't want to miss what God is going to do. Brother TJ, where would we be without the blood of Jesus? Where would we be without resurrection? Well, I can speak for myself. I don't know where I would be. My Lord. I mean, if it wasn't for his grace, I could be somewhere on the wayside. But Absolutely. thank God for his blood. That's right. We would be on our way to a Christless hell. You know, but thank God for radical grace. That's I right. love to call it radical grace. Saving grace. Oh, my God. He thought that we were worth it. So, saints, you don't want to miss this power-packed, powerful, awesome service that's coming up three Sundays from now, April 4th, Resurrection Sunday. And so, today we are just over the moon excited about the Word of God today. Someone special is going to bring in the Word. Who's that? Oh, my sister from a mother, mo another mother, actually, Sister Loren Ferguson, who had yes, that's sister right. Sister Loren, that's right, that's right. She she's a preacher. She's a preacher. She's a preacher. Let me find and so out. So the world is about to find out. Oh. The world is about to find out. And you know, God has been doing some awesome things in her life. She's just recently been promoted on her job. She's just recently released. Actually, she's a co-author on the newly released book, y'all, Discovering Your Strength. I want you to go and get this. You can get it on Amazon or you can reach Sister Loren and get a copy for yourself. That book is so powerful and so moving. You've got to read her story. And so, well, let's get ready for worship. That's right. We're going to have a very impactful and powerful service today. Just stay, stay where you are, whatever you're doing, stay locked in, and make sure you remember we love you. Amen. See you a little later. God bless. Bye. Come on, come on, let's go. This is a fast-paced song. This is a groove. You got to sway. You gotta sway, you gotta dance, dance to the beat, dance with God. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Come on now. Come on, Sing come on, that song. come on, come on. You give me that love. You give me that joy, like the river. You give me that mercy. You give me that mercy, I never Nobody likes 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are good, Lord. You are good, and your mercies endure it forever. You are good, God. You've been good to us in the morning. You've been good to us in the evening. You've been good to us late in the midnight hour. You've been good to us, Father. There is none like you, none can be compared to you. You are a good God. Your goodness, oh God, is unsearchable. We love you so much. We bless your holy name. Father, we love you with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our souls, with all of our strength. We come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for keeping power. We thank you for how you've been watching over us. We thank you for how you've been watching over the members, oh God, of this church in particular, Father. We thank you, Father God, for how you've provided in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for how you've kept all those that are sick and shut in, Father God. Lord, we thank you that you have not forgotten about them. We thank you, Father God, that you know their names. You know their addresses. You know where they live. You know what they're feeling. You know what they're going through. You know what they're ailing with, Father. We thank you because you've sent a remedy. And the remedy is your blood. Your remedy is your blood, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because by your stripes, they are healed. Father, we ask that you reach every individual that is sick and shut in. Oh God, we know we can feel like you are shut off from the rest of the world. Oh God, but cause them to feel your loving arms around them, Father. Let them know, God, that you have not forsaken them and that you have not forgotten them. Oh God, we pray now that you will heal from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. 
Heal God from depression. Heal God from cancer. Heal God from diabetes. Heal God from leukemia. Heal God from suicidal thoughts. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, your word says heal and I shall be healed. Save and I shall be saved. Father God, you send your word to heal us from all our sicknesses and all of our diseases. Father, we pray now for the leaders of this church. Oh God, we pray that during this pandemic, God, we will not be scattered like sheep. Oh God, but Father, Lord, keep us together. Keep our thoughts, keep our minds. Oh God, let the devil not play with our minds. But oh God, I pray that you will keep our minds stayed on you. Keep us in perfect peace. Keep every member, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that when this pandemic lifts, oh God, we would come out of it better than before. We pray, Father God, for each and every leader of this church. Oh God, that during this time, God, they will seek your face. Oh God, because you said in your word that if we seek you, God, we will find you. You said in your word, Father, that if we call upon you, oh God, you will answer us and you will show us great and mighty things that we know not of. I pray, Father God, that you will give the leaders during this time of quarantine and isolation, that you will give them a revelation, you will give them inspiration, you will give them ideas that when we return, Father God, we will go higher in you, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, cause them to use this time to seek your face. Cause them to use this time to hear from you. Cause them to use this time to be creative. Oh, God, so that we can win souls for you, God. Oh, God, he that winneth souls is wise. Give us wisdom in every aspect. Father God, we pray now, even for our, uh, the leaders of this country, in the name of Jesus, we pray for President Biden and Vice President Harris. We pray for the Congress and all the state leaders, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Father God, that you give them wisdom as they seek, oh God, answers, oh God, for the Christ. Oh God, in this country, Lord God, as they seek oh, answers, Lord, I pray that you will speak to their hearts. I pray that they will lead with wisdom. I pray that they will lead with honesty. I pray that they will lead with integrity. In the name of Jesus, I pray for peace over the United States of America. I pray for peace throughout the world, Father God. Oh God, even though that there is an unrest, oh God, in the nations of the world, sweep your peace in every country. Sweep your peace in every nation. Sweep your peace over the world. Oh God, you're omnipresent. You're here with us in the United States and you're here there in Russia. You're in Jamaica. You're in the Bahamas. You're in the Cayman Islands. God, you're everywhere. You are Asia. You are in Europe. Sweep your peace over your people. And even those who have lost loved ones. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Peace of God. Peace of God. Sweep over your people. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the leader of the church, Bishop Phipps and Lady Phipps. God, we know it's not easy. It is not easy being a leader, particularly in this time. We pray, Father God, that you will touch the man of God as he seeks your face, also as he seeks for answers, as he 
he makes decisions. Oh God, I pray that you will give him the wisdom of Solomon in the name of Jesus. Cause him to make decisions that will cause the church to grow. Cause him to make decisions that will cause the church to catapult into a level that they never dreamt in the name of Jesus. Put your hands on Bishop Phipps. Put your hands on Lloyd Phipps. Cover him with your blood in the name of Jesus. Anoint him afresh. Put a fresh word in his mouth. Put fire in his mouth. Put fire in his soul. In the name of Jesus. Use him like never before. In the name of Jesus. And when this pandemic lifts. And it is safe for us. To come together. I pray God. That there will be an explosion. Of glory. In the name of Jesus. I pray for another wave of glory. Over Covington Drive. In the name of Jesus. We pray for Sister Lorraine. As she brings the word. In the name of Jesus. Touch her Lord. God you say if we open our mouth. You will fill it. Fill her now. Fill her mouth. Fill her mouth. Fill her mouth with revelation. Fill her mouth with inspiration. In the name of Jesus. As she speaks. Let the word go forth with power with authority in the name of Jesus use your daughter use your daughter use your daughter use your daughter the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus over this church the blood of Jesus over the leaders the blood of Jesus over the sick the blood of Jesus over the shut in the blood 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 and it's in Jesus name we pray amen amen so let it be so let it be so let it be so let it be in the name of Jesus the Christ the son of the living God in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise God in the firmament of his power. Praise God for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Let everything that has breath in the sanctuary over the airwaves over this stream every person in listening ear of my voice praise God for who he is Jehovah God almighty hallelujah Hallelujah. This 
morning, this 14th day of March 2021, as I stand on this podium, on the grounds of 33, 33 Covington Drive, I stand not on my own, but I stand in the strength of the Lord. I greet my pastors, Bishop Lloyd G. Phipps, who's responsible for me standing here right now. Pastor Bursford Berger, Associate Pastor and Transitional Pastor Leslie Roberts and ladies Althea, Eileen, Patricia, the members, followers, friends of Covington Drive and all that is listening this morning, I greet you in the strength of the Lord. Special greetings to all women. And I say from my mouth to your ears, happy Women's Month. Monday was Women's Day, this past Monday the 8th. I pray and I declare God will strengthen women everywhere in every facet of your lives. Women have been known to be leaders, shapers of faith, shapers in so many areas of a person's life. Women of Covington Drive, women everywhere, I celebrate you as leaders, as women leaders in your home, wherever you are leading, I celebrate you. March is known in the Church of God of Prophecy as World Mission Drive. And we praise God for missionaries all over the world who have sacrificed their lives for the cause of Christ. And I'm just going to put this announcement in right now. Some of you are aware that the Georgia State Women's Ministry will be having their ladies retreat this year, April 16th through 9th, 17th. The theme is Sparkle with guest speaker Dr. Kathy Payne. And um, you can receive more information um, from me and through media. Hallelujah. As I indicated, I stand here on the strength of the Lord. And I thank you all for your prayers this morning. And I thank especially my sister from another mother, Minister Nadine Moss, for that prayer, pastoral prayer. Some of you may know, but Minister Nadine Moss, our paths came together over three decades ago. And not only that, she's been my prayer partner for all of those times. The word of God today is coming from Proverbs 18 and verse 10. And if I would use for a topic this morning or a theme, it would be running into God's power tower. The word of God declares in Proverbs 18 and verse 10. The name 
of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. They run into it and they are safe. The NIV version declares the name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. The NLT version declares the name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run into him and are safe. The character of God is a tower of strength. All the lovers of God delight to run into his heart and be exalted on high. The name, and that was the passion version. The message version declares... God's name is a place of protection. Good people run into it and they are safe. And this is the last version because there's so many versions, but it's all coming back to the same thing. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man, the upright The right standing with God runs into it and is safe. High above evil and strong. Every version of the scripture that I have just read declares the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It is so So let it be. It's not passive. It's not weak. It's not frail. But it is a strong tower. It is a power tower. The name of the Lord. Every person in this sanctuary, every person in listening air of my voice. I believe if you have experienced the name of the Lord to be a strong tower, I want you right now, I may not be able to hear you, but those right here, where you are right now, clap your hands if you've experienced that. Raise a hallelujah if you've experienced his name as being a strong tower. Thank the Lord. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The second part of that scripture declares the righteous the righteous the righteous the righteous is running the righteous is running into that tower and they are safe God's power tower is my strength God's power tower is your strength God's power tower is our strength Jesus God's power God's power tower is strong to deliver and mighty to save the Lord your God is in the midst the mighty one the one who will save he will rejoice 
with you in gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing, with shouts of joy. Thank you, my sister. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, the right living, run into it and they are safe. What is a strong tower? And I quote, looking at the original language, which in this case is Hebrew, we find that the word defend in Psalms 20 and verse 1 means to be safe. Or to be set safely and securely on high, to be too high for capture, and by implication means to be too strong, so as to be inaccessible. Hallelujah. When we compare this phrase to what Solomon says, this connection is very unmistakable. The name of the Lord, a strong tower. A strong tower is elevated. Could it be that it's so elevated as to be high? Or inaccessible for capture? I do not think it is a stretch to come to this conclusion. One of the uses for the towers in the Old Testament is that they were used for fortresses in times of war. Judges 9 51. But there was a strong tower in the city. And all the men, all the women, all the people of the city fled and shut themselves in. Then they went up to the top of the tower. So that would suggest to me when the word of God declares the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I have to, we have to, right living people must run into the power tower. God takes you on high for a reason, for a purpose. Hallelujah. It is of interest that all people who went to the very top of the tower went there for a reason. As it was just explained. They went there so that they could be captured. So that they could be inaccessible. Can you imagine? Whatever you are encountering, whatever you are facing in life, there's no accident why Solomon declared in the word of God, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. He had that experience. It didn't say maybe it's a strong tower. He said, he didn't say maybe. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Right living, run into it. And they will be safe. Such a tower is truly 
a strong place. You, my sister, you, my brother, as you run to God's tower, you are taken to a high place. You are taken to a strong place, a secure place, as you run in the name of the Lord to his tower, you are running to a safe place because it has a height. In a high place, you're able to experience and to use gravity. Jerusalem <laughs> was built on a high place, on a mountain, across from Mount Olives. There was a narrow valley between them. It was called the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And it goes out from the mountain of Jerusalem and no one knows where it flows. The name of the Lord. <laughs> the name of the Lord. The name, let me hear you say, the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is set up on high. Righteous living people are set up on high. The name of the Lord is connected to a strong tower. In a high place, God, in a high place, in a high place, A place where you will be given a vantage point. The cities of Israel, hallelujah, Jesus. The cities of Israel were built on a high place. In our daily living, I have to be, we have to be running around. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I'm just going to pause right here. So we know that the name, whenever you call on the name of Jesus, something has to happen. When I say Jesus, something is happening. All around the world. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Jesus. Jesus. We have to run in the name of Jesus. And we ask, well, okay, what's in the name? What's in the name of Jesus? I could say, what's in Sister Kizzy's name? What does her name mean? What is in Bishop Phipps name what does it mean what is it what does names mean so some of you may know some of you may not but my name Loren Loren means victory and the scripture associated with that is but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My middle name for some who don't know, and I just started using it and never liked it. But it's called, my middle name is Josephine. Josephine means... You will increase. And ever since I have started using it, 
can I tell you, for God's honor and for God's glory, God has been doing just that, increasing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. So we're talking about, I mean, I could say, my sister name, my God, she is a tower of strength. She's been a tower of strength in, in, in different areas, in many areas of my life, as on my journey to where I am now. And as we're talking about running into the name of the Lord, your strong tower, you will find safety. Running to God, running to his tower, affords you the opportunity to experience safety, which is where when you run into the name of the Lord, that's what it means. That's the translation. That's what it means. As you run into the name of the Lord, you will be taken on a high platform. Ladies, woman of God, woman of purpose, daughters of the Most High. If you want to be safe, you must run to the power tower. You must run to it. You are guaranteed safety, protection. Run to God's tower. A vault for your protection. A vault for your protection. Jesus. And experience his strength, his power, woman of God. I declare and I decree to the power and the authority of God's word. Woman of God, are you listening? You are clothed with strength and dignity. And you laugh without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. Why do you laugh? Because as women of God, we are running into God's power tower. So he automatically clothes us with strength. Men of God, run to God's power tower. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus, the Lord is with you. Mighty men of valor, God warriors, God chosen, God will give you strength. He will enable you in the midst of danger to encounter firmness and courage. In Jesus' name, so let it be. Men of valor like Gideon, you can access God's strength. God is actually right now vehicling his strength to you hallelujah children of God in our daily lives we must be running we must declare God first we will not need to worry for we are safe in the arms of God even when the storms of life are raging, we declare, Lord, stand by me. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me, Jesus. Run.
to God's power tower and experience is granite strength. Experience is atomic strength. Experience is almighty strength. Have you ever been in a place on your Christian journey where everything is going well? Everything is going fine. And in our daily experiences, we admonish through the word of God to call upon his name. For his name is a strong tower. As it was mentioned earlier on, God has afforded me the opportunity to be part of a book collaboration of discovering strength. I have three giveaways this morning, but I will come back to that. Jesus. God, in his infinite mercy, has each one of us where we are right now for a purpose. Discovering God's strength came as I experienced the love journey of assurance, heartache, strength, power, and triumph. I was catapulted. Suddenly, into the name of the Lord, the character of the Lord, a mighty fortress, my strong tower of strength. I experienced the oil in my alabaster box, which has been costly. The morning of August 6th, 2011, while in devotions with my husband, singing one of the songs that was sang, and I couldn't understand why that morning I was, we were singing those songs. But one of the songs was praise him. Praise him. For Jesus is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. The next song was Jesus Christ is made to me all I need all I need. After singing those songs, we went into sessions of prayer. And we declared the word. We shared our goals, aspirations. All of a sudden, my husband said, I feel strange. He stopped talking. His eyes were closed. He started foaming. I grabbed the phone, but I also grabbed the olive oil. And I'm trying to determine, God, what is going on here? As close as my sister Nay lived as close as my family lived. I couldn't call anybody. I could only call on 
Jesus. My strong tower. My power tower. There was no response. I was not getting nothing. Jesus. Could not hear a heartbeat. But I called and kept on calling. On the name of Jesus. My strong tower. My power tower. As I was calling on the name of Jesus. I took the olive oil. I anointed. And before I even did that. I felt my husband's feet. It was getting cold. I'm like, Jesus, God. But I knew God allowed me to experience the power of his strong tower. As I called and called on the name of Jesus. As I anointed Brian, he started coughing. Just, I wasn't getting anything before, remember. But he started coughing. And as he coughed, all I could do was praise God. And the first thing he said to me is, baby, You prayed me back to life. He said, I was gone. One of the things he said was, he felt like he was falling into a deep, sweet sleep. And God showed him some things. That, of course, at that time, he didn't reveal to me because probably may have had me a little startled but I I believe that was God preparing me I experienced the power of calling on the name of Jesus my strong tower my deliverer the glory lifter of my head hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah this was described later on as being an encounter The ambulance was called. Leo was home with us. We all went to the hospital. But what's amazing, after that, Brian was able to get up, walk. The, um, as they came in, the ambulance um, personnel, they did whatever vitals, everything paramedics everything was thank you my sister was fine well his blood blood sugar was a little low but he went to the hospital we all went 24 hours later Brian was gone I said God this doesn't make any sense everything was going well but as I declare The word of God today. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. He was a young, vibrant young man after God's own heart. A man I dearly love, a man, my best friend, my confidant. The father of our two beautiful sons, Bradley and Leonardo, gone. What 
do you do? Where do you go? Who do you run to? Jesus. What the sudden is in your life? Jesus. I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the storm that the builders rejected. I go to the mountains, Jesus. And the mountains stand by me when the earth all around me is stinking sand on Christ. The solid rock I stand when I need a shelter, when I need a friend, I go to the rock. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! The word of God declares upon this rock, He will build this church, and the gates of hell shall not, cannot, will not prevail against it. My heart, Jesus, my thoughts were, this doesn't make any sense, but God, I know that you have me, Lord, in the cleft of the rock. And you cover me there with your hand, Jesus. Suddenly, I was catapulted into the name of the Lord, my power tower, my strong tower. We, Bradley and Leo, was taken to God's high tower. Our power tower. For such a time as this. We give God the glory. We give him the praise. The word of God declares. In Psalms 91. Jesus. The umbrella of security. For our lives. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He will deliver thee from the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He will cover. Hallelujah. You notice he didn't say he may. But he says he will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be my shield. Your shield, your butler. Then he says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence, Jesus, that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand! shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only in and only with your eyes shalt thou see the reward of the wicked hallelujah only only and I'm going to jump down to verse 11. He says, He will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear you up. Oh, hallelujah. Lest thy, 
their foot against a stone. Oh God, I thank you. Because he says, he shall call upon me. I will answer. I will be with him. In trouble, I will deliver him. Jesus is my deliverer. Oh, hallelujah. And he ends by declaring with long life, will I satisfy him and show him thy salvation. The rock, my strong tower, my power tower, declares the Lord is my rock, your rock. He is your fortress, your deliverer, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I trust, my butler. And the horn of my salvation. My high tower. Psalms 18 and 2. Have you ever experienced the fact that the name of the Lord is not only a strong tower. But he is your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to this place where I experienced a backer three and verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. He makes my feet like hind feet. And he will make me to walk upon the high places. He says that he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increases. He says, even youths faint and be weary. Young men actually fall. But he says, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall be renewed with strength. They shall run. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He had every word long as I live as troubles rise I'll hasten to his call in the name of Jesus I look to him who is my strength the joy of the Lord is my strength When you run into God's power tower, you will find strength. And as I close, hallelujah, Jesus. In Mark 9, I believe in 28, Jesus declared in the transfiguration, after eight days, Jesus took Peter, John, and James up to a high mountain. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face changed. His clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. When God takes you to our high place. He has a purpose and a plan. I employ you today to run to 
God's power, our strength. And just before this song is sung, I have a declaration, a prayer. Hide me now under your wings. Cover me, Lord Jesus, with your almighty hands. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the earth, over the flood. I will be still and know that you are God. The evidence of God's power, tower, or strength has been manifested over our lives, over my life. And because of time, I won't go into this, but in in the space of, hallelujah, in the space of five months, from March of last year, God has been doing some things. In the space of five months, I received through God's grace two promotions, not one, two. In the pandemic. And can I tell you that when you run to God's power tower in this pandemic, you are safe. My last promotion was the community manager or community outreach manager. Bradley and Leonardo have received several mighty moves of God. Increase. It is all the God that I serve, we serve. My power tower. God is a keeper. I thank God today for my parents. I could not be here without the love, without that they, all that they have showered upon us. My family, my brothers, my sisters, my everybody. Oh, hallelujah. But this morning, as we pray, I declare and decree the Lord strong and mighty Adonai master is your strong tower El Shaddai a mighty God is your strength tower strength giver every home every home represented this day on this platform on in the airwaves I declare in the name of Jesus, Jehovah, Jaiwa, Lord, you will provide. Thank you, God, right now for prophesying over every cupboard, every kitchen. Thank you for locating. Lord, every life right now, Jehovah Jireh, provider, Jehovah Rapha, Lord, I thank you, God. Every sick and shut in has already been prayed for. I thank you as we declare Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha. Right now, healing is being proclaimed in families, in homes. I declare Jehovah Tushkanu, the Lord. Hallelujah. 
our righteousness. Jehovah Shabbat, the Lord who's present. Jehovah Shabbat, the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Jehovah, we magnify you. We praise your name. And God, whatever's going on in our homes, wherever people are right now, we declare in the sanctuary that we will run to your power tower. The name of the Lord, our strong tower. Mighty to save. Jehovah Tishkanu. Our righteousness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And of the blessed. Holy Spirit. Now, under your wings, cover me within your mighty hands when the oceans rise and fall. Roar. I will soar with you above the storms. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. When the oceans rise, and thunders roar I will soar with you above the storm Father you are king over the flood so I will be still know you are God Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 What a name. When the Jesus I'm right here for you. I'm right here for you. 
I'm right here for you. Just come. Just come. Just come unto me. All you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When the oceans roar, when things seem too much, just call on the name Jesus. Somebody right where you are, just say Jesus. Somebody just say Jesus. 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 Hey, God. Oh, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. In the morning, we need you. In the noontime, we need you. In the evening, in the midnight times, we need you. Oh, God. There's such a sweet spirit in this place. And we know that it is the Lord. Oh, Jesus. We thank you for your safety. We thank you for your peace. What a great moment to invite anyone who doesn't know this Jesus. If you don't know this Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, my God, and you're concerned and you don't know where to turn and there's no safety in the world, you can't see it. I know the name of Jesus. He is your strong tower. He is your safety. We beseech you to consider Jesus who is God's salvation. He wants to save your life. Now, presently in this time and in eternity in the time to come, would you accept this Jesus so that you can call on his name? When you're scared, you don't have to be. You can just call on his name and he's right there as the minister said to answer So if you'd like to accept this wonderful Jesus, he's never failed me. The righteous have never been failed or forsaken by this Jesus. I've called on his name myself and he was right on time. Say this prayer with me, will you? Lord, I need your safety. I need your deliverance. So Father, forgive me of all my sins. And come into my heart and give me a new mind. Give me your mind and make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you something. If you have said that, you are new and you have found safety in the most high God. And he's going to fight for you like you've never seen before. And he will turn around every circumstance and work it for your good. Find you a Bible-believing church. Send us a message. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to pray with you and help you grow in your walk with the Lord. We just bless the Lord for that word. We bless the Lord for that word. We were moved to the depths of our souls to be reminded that we can call on that name, that we can run to the power tower and receive strength, run and be catapulted into the name of Jesus and be well kept. So it's offering time. It's a good place to give thanks. And so we invite you to bless this ministry you've been blessed today or seed into this ministry seed put a praise on it and there are three ways that you may give you may give by texting the information is on your screen or you can give by going to our website or by mailing in that check in whichever way that you choose we are so humbled and we are so grateful that you choose to invest the seed with us, that we may continue to broadcast and glorify and lift up the name of Jesus. So lift your seed with me. Father, we come before you, giving back to you what you have so, God, faithfully given to us, God. Father, God, we are so grateful that we have to give, God, And so, Father God, we ask that you would breathe upon every tithe and breathe upon every offering, God. And let it work for your kingdom, God, in the harvesting of souls. 
God, and work for us, God, to meet and do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond, God, the needs, God, of what has been asked for among these men and women, boys and girls, God. Father, you are the God of the exceeding and the abundantly, God. You are the God of the exceeding and the abundantly, God. You are working miracles in this season. You're working. You're making way, God. You're keeping us, God. And we celebrate Celebrate you, God. We give you thanks, God, that these are well kept, God, that it's pressed down the blessings, shaking together and running over, God, and that they will never be forsaken. They will never beg bread. That healing is their portion. Healing is their portion. And your provision is our portion in the name of Jesus. So we surrender the offering and the tithe to you. And we say, let your will be done, God. And bless us and bless this ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Good morning, Covington Drive. I am your pastor, Bishop Lloyd G. Phipps, Sr. And I am Althea Phipps, your pastor's wife. We are recording this video on Thursday, March 11, 2021, the first anniversary of the declaration of this pandemic. It has been one full year since you and I have been going through this pandemic, and we know that for many, it has been extremely difficult. But we want you to know that we love you. We miss hugging and loving on you. You're always in our thoughts and our priors. It has been 12 difficult months for many. Some of you I have not seen for one full year. I haven't had the opportunity to look you in the eyes and let you know just how much we love you and how much we appreciate you. Many have lost jobs. Some have seen their hours reduced. Some have lost loved ones to this pandemic. And many of our seniors have been confined to their home, unable to fellowship with their brethren and to see and love on their grandchildren. It has been a difficult 12 months. But despite the difficulty of the moment, God has proven himself faithful to us. He has blessed you. He has kept you. He has provided for you. He said in his word that I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And he has proven himself to be faithful. We want you to know that we are here for you. Should you need assistance, please know that we are available. Maybe you need someone to cook a meal to mow the lawn, pick up the groceries or your medication. We are available. Just call us, 404-286-6126. We love you very much. And you are constantly in our thoughts and in our daily prayer. We missed you. May God bless, bless you. you. Are so pleased that you chose to worship with us today and we do trust that you were indeed blessed please stay tuned for a few announcements we extend a personal invitation to you yes you stay connected with us during our weekday services find out how by staying tuned hi parents and hi boys and girls virtual children's church continues every Sunday at 3 p.m. And in Sunday School, we begin the unit exploring difficult passages in Genesis and Exodus. This evening, we'll look at supernatural experiences in the book of Genesis chapter 15 verses 17 through 18. The meeting ID is 835-3302-8596 and the passcode is 022732. Join us where faith and life connect. Here are a few important announcements from the Women's Ministry Department. 
You are invited to join the Women of Worship every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. for a study and conversation. So when you get home, kick back, relax, and enjoy the fellowship. Join via Zoom by dialing 834-6856-1126 and the passcode 863476. Looking for a way to shed some LBS? Yes, it's time to get rid of some unwanted pounds. Why don't you join the Good Samaritan Health Center with Coach Carter for virtual workout sessions Wednesday at 11 a.m. and Saturday at 8 a.m. Registration is free. For details, contact Miss Loren Ferguson via email at loren at goodsamatlanta.org or via telephone by calling 678-515-0243. You may also join our Hour of Power Prayer every weekday, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Call in by dialing 605-313-4154 or 425-535-9192. And enter the pin 661656. And on Wednesdays, we dive deeper into the study of the Word of God at 7.30 p.m. Join us via Zoom. The Zoom ID is 838-6189-3408 and enter the passcode 745364. This week, we will continue our study on the Church of God at Corinth. GCYM Youth Ministry invites you to join us this Friday at 7.30 p.m. as we study the book of James and the art of effective prayer. The meeting ID is 881-2312-1726 and the passcode is 678786. See you there. Thank you for joining our live stream today. We trust that you were blessed. At Covington Drive, we remain committed to the delivery of the good news of Jesus the Messiah and to our outreach efforts through initiatives like our drive through Food Bank Ministry. We ask for you to support us with your giving. There are three ways you may give. You may text to 404-882-6978. Type in the word give and then the amount that you would like to give. You may also go directly to cdcogop.givecloud.co. Lastly, you may mail your checks to our address. We sincerely appreciate your support and thank you in advance. You have been watching the ministry at Covington Drive, Church of God of Prophecy, located at 3333 Covington Drive, Decatur, Georgia, 30032. Connect with us at our website at www.cogopgacovdr.org and like us on Facebook at Covington Drive COGOP. Our prayer is for God to bless and keep you and your loved ones. Tune in next Sunday and remember at Covington Drive COGOP, everybody is somebody. And Jesus Christ is Lord. Take care.